Ladies and gentlemen, Doll's House by Henry Gibson, Act 1. And then you spend it all on the Christmas week. And then on the New Year's Eve, a sled fell on my head and then killed me. <laughs> Don't say such horrid things. Still suppose that happened, what then? Well, I should not care whether I owed money or not. Well, what about the people who had lent it? They. Yes. I should not bother who they are. That is very like a woman, Nora. Surely, you really know what I think about this. No borrowing, no debt. There can be no freedom about life that, is, that depends on borrowing and debt. We too have kept bravely over these years and we continue doing the same as long as we live. As you please. Oh, Papa. come on. My little scarlet must not droop our wings. Is my little scarlet out of temper? Okay. What do you think I've got here? Money? <laughs> you think I don't know that a lot is wanted for housekeeping during Christmas time? Oh. Here we go. Thank you so much, Oba. This oh. takes a long way. Indeed, it must. Yes. Now come and see what I have bought. And oh, really? all so cheap. Yes. See? Uh -huh. uh, here's a new suit for Ivan. Yes. A doll for Amy. Oh. A trumpet and a horse for, for Bobby. And then a doll's vendor. A goat and some old dress lens and handkerchiefs. All the oh, yes. have something new for her. That's good. Yes. <laughs> okay, what is in this person? No, 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 no. You mustn't see that until this evening when it is well dressed. All right, come here, my little spendthrift. So, what would you like for yourself? Well, mm -hmm. I, I don't need anything. Of course, you must need something. Tell me something in particular that you want for yourself. Well, if I want something, yes. uh, if you want to give me something, yes. you might... Come on, out with it. Uh, you, might, you might give me some money, just, just as much as you can, and then I'll buy something with it. Isn't that sensible? But Nora, look... Please, please, stop it. and then I'll buy a gift with it and put it on the Christmas tree. Holy, that be fun. What are little people call that are always wasting money? Spendthrifts? Yes. Uh, I know. Well, let us just do as you say, that and is. then I will think what I want for mm -hmm. the money later. That is to say, if you have to save out of the money that I give you, and then really, really buy something for yourself. But if you're wasting all on the housekeeping and all other unnecessary things, then I'll merely have to pay up again. It's a shame to say that. You know, I save up all I can. All you can, but you can't save anything. You, you see, you are all little soul. Very like your father, you always seem to find some new ways of wiggling money out of me. And as soon as you've got it, it seems to melt in your heart. You never know where it has gone to. But still, one must take it as well. For indeed, you can inherit some of these things, Nora. I wish I had <laughs> inherited Papa's quality. And I will not wish you to be anything but just what you are. Thank you so much, Papa. You know, it strikes me that you look rather, what shall I say? Rather uneasy today. A doer? Yes, you really do. Look straight at me. 
Ah, hasn't my sweet tooth been wasting money again? Uh, no, no, not at hasn't all. Hasn't she paid a visit to the confectioners? No, certainly not. Not been nibbling sweets? No, I, I really assure you, too, but I'm not done of anything course. that I'm not supposed to do. I, I of promise. Course, yeah, I was only joking. Well, you Besides, know. Besides, you promised me that. Yes, I shouldn't go against your wishes. That's it. Now you keep your little Christmas secrets for yourself. I'm sure they'll all be revealed tonight. I didn't remember to invite Dr. Lam. No, no, no. There's no need. After all, be coming to, to, to dinner with us. And you know what? Yes? I've just ordered the best wine. You can't imagine how I'm looking forward to this evening. And so am I. I can't yes? see how the children are going to have so much you know, fun. No, Nora, it is a good thing to feel that one has a safe appointment and good enough income. Yes, that is Do you remember last Christmas? You had to lock yourself inside there for three whole weeks. You know, making Christmas ornaments and all other those things that would be a surprise to us. <laughs> yes. Those were the dullest three weeks I've ever spent in my life. Well, I did find it so dull. Of course, you had the best intentions to please us all. But now, I need to sit down here alone and be dull. And you need to bring your pretty little arms and your beautiful face. <laughs> oh, I need it. Now, I will tell you what I have been thinking we should do for Christmas. Right. We should take a trip to Italy uh, and then later, If that's a caller, tell him I'm not at home. Okay? The Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? A gentleman to see you, and uh, he wants to see you, the doctor. The doctor? And a lady who came to see you also. She's did a the doctor go straight to my home? Yes, he did. But let her in. Uh, right away, ma'am. How do you do, Nora? How do you do? Thank you, Helen. I suppose you don't recognize me. Uh, no, I don't. Christine! Ah! I just think of I not recognizing you. You have quite altered Christine. Yes, indeed I have. In the last nine, ten years ago. Oh! Has it been that long since you met? Mm -hmm. And to think that you've come here to see us. That is so lucky of you. Yes, I arrived by steamer this morning. Really? Yes. You're going to have so much fun. Well, let me help you with this. I'm sitting near the stove, be warm and cozy. Yeah, thank you. No, 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 Take the armchair. I will take the rocking chair. Well, ha, now you've begun looking like you're quite old self. A little bit thinner and just a bit paler. And much, much more older. Now more. quite older, Christine. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm so sorry. Actually, I had you a video. Yes, it's not three years ago. I'm sorry, I heard about it and oftentimes mm -hmm. I wanted to write to you, but something always prevented me. It's all right. I quite understand you, Nora. That was so bad of me. I, I, I heard that he left you nothing. No. And children? No. Nothing at all? Not even a sorrow or a grief to live upon. How is that even possible? <laughs> it sometimes happens, Nora. I'm so sorry, I know you must have suffered, but today I mustn't listen to anyone. I just have to listen to you and you alone. Uh, no, 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 I just want to hear all about you. No, I mustn't be selfish today. Today you must tell me everything about you. Ah, but before you tell me that, you must tell me something. Yes? Christine, I have come across some great piece of luck. Great right piece of luck? Yes. What is it? My husband has been made the manager of the bank. What? Yes. Your husband? A barista's position mm -hmm. is such and summary thing. Mm -hmm. And to think that he's going to have a lot of commission and earn lots and lots of money. Mm -hmm. Christine, mm -hmm. we are going to live as those people who don't care about anything. We are going to live without any anxiety or care. Uh, yes, but I think it's quite adequate for one to have what one needs. No, not only what one needs, but kids and kids of money. <laughs> Nora, Nora, Nora. Haven't you learned some sense yet? You know, during our school days used to be quite a spent Oh, well, yes. Actually, Thomas tells me the same thing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Nora, Nora, what a spent thrift you are. <laughs> really? But you know, mm -hmm. I have not been in a position of wasting money. Mm -hmm. I had to work. You too? Yes. Odds and ends, embroidery, crotchetry 
and all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. You know, when we got married, mm -hmm. Tova left his work. Mm -hmm. At that time, he saw that he, there was no promotion coming along his way. Mm -hmm. So he had to look for something else to do. He worked day in, day out, mm -hmm. until one day he fell ill. So we took him to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And the doctor said that it was very necessary for him to go south. So you spent a whole year in Italy, did yes, you? Yes, we did. You know, Tova was very ill at the moment, and it was very necessary for us to take him there. Actually, it costed us... 250,000 pounds. What? That's a lot, isn't it? Yes, quite so. Mm, yes, and I ought to have told you that at that particular moment, mm -hmm. Papa had given me the money. But wait, mm -hmm. it was just about that time that he died, wasn't it? Well, yes. You know, Christine, it was not an easy moment for me. Mm -hmm. I had just given birth to Iva, mm -hmm. my father was sick, and my husband was also sick. Mm -hmm. Those were the saddest moments since my marriage. I know. I know how fond you were of him. But still, he went to Italy. Yes, it was very important. Uh, since I had the money, we took him a month later. And uh, the doctor? What doctor? But your husband came back quite well. Yes, as sound as a bell. But what about the doctor? What doctor? I heard your man, your maid say that the man that arrived just as I did was the doctor. Oh, ah, that is Dr. Ram. He's a very intimate friend of ours. Actually, you know, since he came back, Toval has never had an hour of illness. Ah. And so are my children. Ah. I'm so selfish talking about myself. Christine, mm -hmm. I heard that you got married, but you didn't love him. Why did you marry him? You know, my mother was still alive then and was bedridden and helpless. And also had to take care of my two younger brothers. Mm -hmm. So I did not see myself justified in refusing his offer. Well, yes, that is quite right. But he was rich at the moment. Well, I thought so. But you know, his business was a precarious one. Mm -hmm. And when he died, Everything went into bits. Uh, so I had to put my hand to anything that I could find. And then? Yes, I laid my hand on anything that I could find. First a small shop, mm -hmm. and then a small school, and so on and so forth. The last three years have seemed like a long working day for me, with no rest. But it is all now at an end, because my poor mother needs me no more, for she's gone. And you know, my two brothers don't need me either, because they've got situations and can shift for themselves. Aww. I know you must feel a quite a relief that because, that your, because your mother doesn't need you at all. Yes, I think I need to. But actually, I feel unspeakably empty. I do not want to work for anymore. That's why I cannot stand life with a little backwards anymore. If only I can get some job that can occupy my thoughts and busy me. If only I can get some office job no. of some kind. No, no, don't think of that. It is so tired, tiresome. Look for some water in the to work at. I don't have a father to give me money for a journey, no. I, I, I'm really sorry. I never meant to make you angry. No. It is you that must not be angry at me. You know, the worst of a position like mine is that it makes one so bitter. With no one to work for anymore. But still obliged to be out looking for chances. You know, when you told me the good times of what you had taken, mm -hmm. you'll be so surprised. I was so happy. Not so much on my account as on your own. Well, I, I don't understand. Ah, you mean I should talk to Tobal so that he can give you something to do? <laughs> don't worry, I will broach the subject to him. I will tell him about it and I'll be sure that he will find something for you to do. Are you sure? Yes! I'll be glad to be of help to you. Thank you. Welcome. It's so doubly kind of you to be so anxious to help me. For you know so little about the troubles of life. I know so little of them. But Nora, you ought not to be so superior. No? Well, yes. You think that because I just stay here, I don't know the hard things of life like others. But just some normal house chores and that sort of a thing. You're still a child, Nora. No, I'm not a child. Actually, I've also gone through the hard things of life too. But come on, you've already told me your problems. Oh, those were dreadful. I have not told you about the important thing yet. The important thing? Yes, actually. Uh, you know, I ought to have told you that it is I who saved Tobal's life. You? Yes. Saved how? Relax. Actually, it is I who procured the money. What? You? Yes. All that sum? Yes, 250,000 pounds. Wait. Hmm? Where did you get all that sum? All did you win a prize in the lottery? Well, is there anything to be proud of when you win some money in the lottery? Then where did you get that? Because you can't have borrowed it. Colinda, why not? A woman is not supposed to borrow money without her husband's consent. <laughs> a woman is not supposed to borrow money without her husband's consent. Because I am a woman, I should not have any business idea. I quite don't understand you, Nora. Well... You know, when someone is an attractive person as I am... You are a mad creature. Ah, no, you're full of curiosity, Christine. But don't you think you're being a little bit imprudent? Imprudent? Is it imprudent to save my husband's life? Yes, it seems to me to be.
to be imprudent if you go and do that behind his back. Well, you know, I ought to have done all things behind his back. Actually, Christine, you know, it is I who the doctors came to and told me that my husband was sick. Mm -hmm. So I had to do something. I tried everything. I tried to tell him that he should travel. Christine, you know how much I love traveling. I tried tears and entries. I tried everything. I even tried to brought him a subject to raise a loan and oftentimes he got angry at me. Mm -hmm. So I thought to myself, you must be saved. And that is how I came through this difficulty that has now devised my life. And has your husband never found out from your father that he was not the one who handed you the fire? No! Not at all! How could you think of it? How that would not even be possible. And have you ever told your husband about it? How? Never! If I told him, I could not have anything for myself to be proud of. Imagine Tovel thinking that he owes something to me. Seriously, how that will put an end to a happy relationship in this house. So you're never going to tell your husband about the money? Never! Never at all! Yeah, actually, I'll keep it to myself until one day. Maybe I will tell him when he has gotten tired of me, or I, my, my dancing has gone out. But mm, relax, Tobal will never get tired of me. So, what do you think about my secret? What? Isn't it a good thing to know that I also have something for myself to put? And, Christine, there's something in business known as quarterly interest and payment in installment. Mm -hmm. It is not an easy thing to go through. So this is what has kept me bit by bit and looking for money day in, day out. Uh, let me ask you, mm -hmm. how much have you been able to pay from all that? Well, I, I, actually I'm sure I've been able to pay every penny that I got. Mm -hmm. But you know, I had to work. Day in, day out. Mm -hmm. I locked myself in during winter. I got some coping work. But oftentimes I got tired and thought of giving up. But Christine, it is so nice to feel that you're earning your own money. Mm -hmm. Working like a man. Mm -hmm. So I had to, uh, after all, after all, when I was tired, I used to come here and think that maybe one day, one day I will meet an admirer who will leave me all his wealth. Goodness, Nora. Who is that man? Actually, he will write to me. To lovely Mrs. Helma, I give you all my possessions. Nora, who's that man? <laughs> yeah. Don't you understand, Christine? This is just a way that I usually devise myself to think of how I should get money. There's no one who I'm talking about. But oh, Christine, imagine how nice it will be. Hmm? It will be so nice to live to to be able to live from care, mm -hmm. free from everything, mm -hmm. to be free to roam about <laughs> and play with the children. Ah, ah, that's the bell. I think I better go. No, 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 no. It is, it is towel. Just be here. Ma'am? Yes? There's a gentleman to see the master. And since the doctor is still with him... Ah, uh, who is he? It is I, Mrs. Helma. Oh, what do you want? Um, bank business, in a way. I have a small post in the bank and I hear your husband is to be our chief now. Well, be, be sure to go in. So it really was he. Do you know the man? Yes, I used to. Many years ago. He used to be a solicitor's clerk at our town. Oh, really? Yes. 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 He is greatly altered. Yes, he is. I he made a very unhappy marriage. I heard that he carried out he carries out several kinds of business. Yes, but let us not think about his work. It is so tiresome thinking of such things. Uh, no! Disturbing you too. I'll just be on my way. Yeah? Doctor Rank, uh, relax. What, what, what? Well, Doctor Rank, yes. Meet Christine. Oh, so you're Christine, huh? <laughs> I have often heard that name being mentioned here. Yeah? Really? I believe I passed you about the stairs when I was coming in, Mrs. Lee. Ah, uh, yes, you did. I go up quite slow. I'm not so good with stairs. Oh, really? Some slight internal weakness, perhaps? Ah, uh, no. Only that I've been overworking myself. Really? Mm -hmm. Is that really the case? So you decided to come to town to amuse yourself with our entertainment? I know, I've come to look for work. Is that really a cure for overwork? <laughs> hmm? Yeah, I do. Ah, well, indeed. Dr. Ram, yes? I'm sure you're just about to leave. Oh, of course, of yes. course. Eh? All my patients are like that. I want to prolong my agony for as long as possible. Eh? And one patient in a bad case of that is at this very moment talking to Helma. But who? 
What do you mean he's talking to Emma? Uh, a young man, a lawyer by the name of Krogstad. You don't really know the fellow. He suffers from a, a diseased moral character. Uh, but you don't really know him. What do you think he's talking to my husband about? I am not quite sure. Uh, bank business, I presume. Something to do with an appointment. What, uh, what specifically are they talking about? Uh, bank business, dearie. Eh? <laughs> uh, my dear Mrs. Lynn, eh? mm -hmm. I believe that in your part of the world, there are those who go about sniffing moral corruption. And then as soon as they have gotten whip of some, they decide to put that person into some lucrative position where they can keep an eye on him. Eh? Healthy matters are thrown out into the cold. Uh, yes, but I still think that the sick are the ones who need most taken care of. Ah, yes, mm -hmm. there you are. <laughs> that is the sentiment that is turning society into a sick house. Really? Yes. <laughs> what is it that you laugh about? Nothing. Actually, I'm thinking of something quite different. Uh, but tell me, Dr. Ram, yes. is it true that everyone who works at the bank now looks up to Tobal? Is that what you seem to find so funny? Well, you know, everyone who works at the bank now is going... Uh, Dr. Ram? Yes? How about a macaroon? Macaroon? I thought they were forbidden here. <laughs> Christine, get them to me. What? what? The I you couldn't you have known that they are forbidden here. But you know, Thomas thinks that they are going to spoil my teeth. But of course! One or two cannot make something. Actually... Um, well, goodness! Yeah? One or just two for me. Uh, there's something I dare say to you, mm. but it is so important and Thomas mustn't hear about it. Well, if it's definitely... Well, what is it? It is something so important and I tell you, he should not hear anything about then it. Then tell us! Yeah. Tell us out with it already! It is so shocking! Shocking? Well, yes. if it's something shocking, then you definitely shouldn't say it to Tobol. But you could always say to the two of us. Yes. Well... Mm -hmm. Actually... Uh -huh. I'm done. What? Huh? Are you mad, man? What? How can you say such a thing? Wait, hush, hush, hush. He's coming. He's coming. What? He's not mine. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, no. yeah. I can see that you have to He's good, he's good. Well, Tobal, meet Christine. Christine? Yeah. I don't think if I remember that. Christine Lind. Of course, a school friend of my wife, eh, Christine? Oh, yes, we have known each other since then. Oh, yeah. right. And to think that she has come here to see you. To see me? Yes. Well, um, I don't understand. Tobal, yes. you know, Christine is good at bookkeeping yes. and she was wondering if she could work under a clever person like you. Well, that is very sensible, Mrs. Lane. You know, actually, she had the news because they were written on the newspaper yes. and that is why she decided to come here. All right, all right. I presume you're aware, Mrs. Lane. Uh, yes. And I've had some experience in bookkeeping. A fair amount. Well, that's good. I think I might have something for you. Hey! Yes. Ah! You have just come at the most fortunate moment. Oh, oh my God! Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. No, no, no. There's no need. There's no need. But for now, you will have to excuse me. Okay? Oh, wait a minute, my good fellow. Okay. I shall come along with you. You're going my way? Yes. All right. Well, don't be so long, dear. No, 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 no. no. Just about an hour. Nothing more. All okay. right. <laughs> Yes, I must go look for a room. All right, oh, then we can room. walk down the street together. No, of course, let's be on our way then. Let me help you with this. Give you some space. Here. Oh dear, please, don't think about that. Ah, uh, here we go. Thanks. Hello. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. He looks so cold, just go 
After me. A big dog ran after yes, you? Yes, after me. Really? Mommy, yes. yes? Do dogs bite? No, dogs don't bite pretty little kids like you. Uh, Iva, don't touch anything. Yes, I just say it is something so bad. So, which game shall you play? Hide, Hide and seek! Yes. Hide and seek, yes. Yeah. Sure. Who will start today? Uh, let me do the counting. No, let me do and then you. Okay, okay. Yes. Mm, mm, count, count. <laughs> wow! Someone forgot to shut it. My husband is not in Mr. Crocs. I know that. Then what do you want? A word with you. <gasps> with no. me? Yes? With the strange man, Hammy. No, 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 no. Just go in and I will play with you later. Oh, I promise. Promise, promise us. I promise. Yes, yes. Oh, that's good. Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you, and depends on you on what kind of Christmas you will spend. But you know, it is very impossible for me to make such... We are not going to talk about that until later. This is something else. I presume you can give me a moment? Yes, I can, although... Good. I was in Alton's restaurant and I saw your husband go down the street. Yes. With a lady? Yes. May I make so bold to ask if it was a Mrs. Lee? Yes, it was. Just arrived in town? Yes, today. Oh, she's a good friend of yours, isn't she? Yes, she is. I knew her too once upon a time. I'm aware of that. Oh. I So you know all about it. Then I can ask without beating the bush. Is Mrs. Lynn to have an appointment in the bank? <laughs> what right have you to question me, Mr. Crockstad? You, one of my husband's subordinates. Mm. But since you've asked, I will tell you. Mrs. Lynn is to have an appointment, and it is I who pleaded the case. I was right in what I thought then. Well, you know, sometimes you should not look down at anyone. Actually, you should be very careful offending anyone who, who is... Who has influence? Exactly. Then you will be so kind as to use your influence on my behalf. Uh, uh, well, I don't understand. You will be so kind as to see that I keep my subordinate position in the park. But who proposes to take your position? Oh, there is no need to put up with the pretense of ignorance. I can quite understand your friend is not very anxious to be in a place where she has to rub shoulders with me. I can quite understand whom I have to thank for being turned off. Uh, but uh, I really assure you, I had nothing to do with this. Very likely, but to come to the matter at hand, it has come to the point where I should advise you to use your influence on my behalf. Oh, well, uh, who told you that I had that sort of influence with my husband? Haven't you? 
I thought you said so yourself just now. Actually, naturally, I never meant you should put some construction on it. I, I don't have that kind of influence with my husband. Oh, I have known your husband since our student days. I don't suppose he's any unassailable than other husbands. Mr. Crockston, if you slightingly speak of my husband like that again, I shall throw you out of the house. Hmm. You're bold, Mrs. Ham. I'm no longer afraid of Listen to me. If necessary, I am willing to fight for my small post in the bank as if I were fighting for my own life. I, 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 I don't understand. Well, you see, I dare say you know like everyone else that many years ago I was guilty of an indiscretion. Yes, I The matter never went to court, but everywhere seemed close to me after that. So I took to a business that you know of. I had to do something, and honestly I've not been one of the worst. But now I must cut myself free from all that. My sons are growing up, and for your sake, I will try and earn as much respect as I can in the town. That small post in the bank was my first step, and now your husband wants to draw me downstairs into the mud again. But I, I, I really assure you, Mr. Crockstad, my husband can never do such a thing. I, I had nothing to do with it. It is because you haven't the way. But I have means to compel you. No, you don't mean you're going to tell my husband that I owe you money. Hmm. Suppose I want to tell him? Well, that would be perfectly infamous of you. To think of him knowing my secret in such a clumsy way and coming from you, that will put me in a horribly disagreeable position. Are you disagreeable? Well, do it then. Tell him about it and then he will see for himself what a black guy is. I only you ask if it was a disagreeable thing that you are afraid of. When you shall know the thing, he will pay you and you shall be free of the whole thing. Mrs. Helmer, it is either you're very poor in business or you have forgotten everything. Well, I will be obliged to remind you of a few details. When your husband was ill, you came to me and borrowed 250 pounds. Yes. I promised to get you that amount. Yes. I promised to get you that amount on certain conditions. Your head was so taken up with your husband's illness that you seem to have skipped to our conditions for bargain. Well, it will not be amiss if I will remind you of a few details. Well, I promised to give you that amount on a bond that I drew on. Yes, which I signed. Below your signature are a few lines constituting your husband's surety of the money. Those lines your father should have signed. Yes, he signed them. Um, that is to say, below your signature, your father himself should have inserted the date on which he put the signature. Is that not so? Y y y yes. Then I gave you the bond to send by post. Do you remember that? I, I think I remember. And you naturally did it because five or six days you brought back the bond with your father's signature and I gave you the money. Yes, you did. But uh, haven't I been paying it off regularly? Mm, fairly so, yes. But to come to the matter at hand, that was a really trying moment for you. Yes, actually, Papa was very ill at the Your moment. Your father was very ill. Yes. And died soon afterwards. He was near his Tell me, Mrs. Alma, do you remember the day your father died? Actually... The date of the month, I mean? Uh, uh, Papa died on 29th of September. Yes. That is correct. I have a certain to myself. But there's a discrepancy you cannot account for. What discrepancy? The discrepancy consists that your father signed the papers three days after his death. Look here. It is dated the 2nd of October. But your father died the 29th of September. That is a discrepancy, isn't it? Can you explain it? Well, it is also a remarkable thing the word 2nd of October and the year not written in your father's handwriting. But one that I think I know of. Well, maybe it can be in the students. Ah, ah, ah. Well, maybe it can be in the students. Maybe your father forgot to sign the papers and your husband, or you signed them haphazard before you knew of his time. There's no harm in that. Uh, you signed the papers yourself? Or is it your father who signed the papers? It was I who signed the papers. Do you know that is a very dangerous confusion? 
Well, Mr. Croft said, my father was very ill at the moment, and you gave me so much conditions, and you knew what I...